Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes Up. I hope you're all really, really well. This is a very, very requested video. Um, today, I wanted to show you guys inside my pro kit. So I've done various different videos before and blog posts. Any I can think of, I'll link below. Obviously, my kit is always changing, always evolving. Um, and depending on who I'm working with or what job I'm doing depends on what goes in my kit. But I thought I would show you today. I've just come back from a job that I was on this morning. Um, it is with someone I work with regularly, but also I just thought I would make an effort to pack the kit as if I was going to a shoot where perhaps there was one or two models and I didn't know who the person was. Just to give you like an overview idea of what I would bring, um, this all fits in one suitcase as you're about to see. Obviously, everything you're seeing, this is my job, so I know it looks like a lot of makeup. Um, it is my job. <laughs> I think that's the only way to describe it. Um, I hope this is makes sense in terms of the layout of everything. I generally cut things into a face kit, an eye kit, a lip kit, and then kind of like a set bag. So I can show you inside my set bag as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. So I just thought I'd show you guys first of all it does all fit in. It's very strategically placed. It's literally like a jigsaw. Um, I'm using the Away medium size case and I did buy a set of all three just because I find when I do travel, I need four wheels. So if I'm in an airport, I can roll things along and push it easily. Um, so I have this part that clips um, and I'm going to show you. So this is the first thing that you'll see in my kit. This is what I have made for um, red carpet clients. So when I'm working red, car red carpet, I like to be able to give each client my assistants very neatly kind of stitch these all together. Um, they get a little piece of uh, like a blotting tissue, a powder puff that I'll put some powder on, some Q-tips, a lip brush, and then an empty uh, little pot that I'll often put some either cream blush in or lipstick. And then I do have a toothpick as well, because believe it or not, that is something a lot of people are like, oh, I think I've got something in my teeth, just as they're walking out the door and I will give them that and then they are good to go. And that just goes back in there. So that's kind of like usually the last thing I'll need. So it's almost like working backwards actually showing you guys this. Um, and then in this half, I have my lip bag. I have this one is eye bag. So in this little bag, I just have a couple of nail polishes, a nail varnish remover. I don't really do nails, but it's just good to have a few just in case. Um, some cotton wool. So that's that side. And like I said, it all fits in perfectly. I've kind of got the puzzle down now and then in this side I have my face bag I have a towel I have my set bag and then sometimes I will pull out some additional foundations um, in the colors that I need for the person I'm working with and then a lash bag so we'll go through it a little bit more in depth now but just wanted to show you a quick overview of how that all fits in pretty tight and snug so this is the first bag and I think this is the one a lot of you guys want to see. This is predominantly kind of skin based. This is my starting point and it is the one I keep all my brushes in. Um, I will link below to the bags that I'm using. I think this one is a Rowan Rowanson. I might be saying it wrong, but I'll link it down below. Um, and I try and do it so I always like work in an order. So I start with skincare here. So I have like moisturizers, makeup removers, um, tissues. You can see a lot of Muji things in here and a lot of view set. They're kind of my go-to for decanting. Um, so everything I kind of need in my kind of go-to basics. So again, keep in mind if I was doing something specialist um, or you know, changing the products out depending on the client's skin type, etc. This bit would get changed as I needed it. Um, I also have my Elemis. This is the uh, dynamic resurfacing facial pads. I absolutely love these. They are so, so good. Um, just great. A lot of us use actives now, so sometimes I find if there's any texture on the skin, this just makes sure there's no like peeling in the makeup and gives you a really smooth skin start. Um, Muji, you'll find most makeup artists are very obsessed with our cotton buds. Um, so I have the skinny Muji Q-tips here and the bigger ones here. And this is like a two part divider tub. Um, it also stops the cotton getting kind of fluffy, which is like a pet peeve of mine. Um, and then we have foundation. So what I tend to do is I will often have, so like the job I was on this morning, I was working mostly with the Charlotte Tilbury concealers, which I have decanted into little Muji bottles. Um, I love these, the squeezy ones. I was using a different kind before that you will have seen me mention in a blog post. Um, and I did love the smaller ones, but it annoyed me that I couldn't put labels on top. This system is much quicker. Um, these were the bottles I had previously, just in case anyone's wondering. And these are kind of like some additional primers. So um, I have kind of anti-redness ones, oil-free, illuminating, that kind of thing just fits into this section. Um, and I also have a couple more full coverage of the Dior ones, which I really like. And these two actually mix really, really well. So then we go into concealers. Um, now, 
these don't fit standing up with the lid closed so what I do luckily they all fit in this way is I actually have labeled them because I'm a nerd they all have their labels and then they stand up in here when I'm working so everything with my kit is really designed for it to be fuss free easy to reach and make me quicker because you know some people will book you because you're quick and they like that you're in and out and they've got more time to do fun stuff if makeup isn't the bit that's fun for them. So um, Laura Mercier and Kevin Aquan concealers here. Then I have some concealer palettes. These are a new favorite. These are by um, a makeup artist called Sean Richards. And these actually use for like film and TV, but they're 4K um, specialist kind of concealers. And the tones are amazing, especially for women of color. I find getting tones that are properly dark enough and have a really nice mix of red undertones or oranges for counter counteracting um, pigmentation and evening out pigmentation. They are like a staple in my kit as well. And then I have a concealer palette. Um, again, you'll, like I said, you'll see a lot of the view set ones. These are Laura Mercier and some Clay de Poe. Then I have a little cream palette here I've made with some Glossier stretch concealers, some RMS. And then I do love my nude sticks as well. So that's another one that you will see as a go-to in my kind of base kit. And again, I have other palettes with other cream blushes I like, etc. that I will swap and change. Um, powders, Charlotte Tilbury. I tend to keep a couple of powder blushes. These are the two that I'm using today. Um, anything that's glass, I tend to decant. So this was one of the Pericone MD No Blush Blush. Some Glossier uh, cloud paints and then some kind of highlighters. Then I think the Dior Backstage products are really nice as well and very like makeup artist friendly. So I have a bit of few of those, which I label. Um, and then I'm kind of trying out some new cream blushes at the minute that I'm really enjoying. So, um, and some more kind of like contoury bits there. Um, brushes, like I said, maybe I'll do a separate IGTV on these to go through them, but I like a nice mix. And again, I tend to go from uh, sort of left to right, face into eyes, into lips, so that there's a bit of continuity. So I do like to have a Beauty Blender uh, brush cleaner in my kit at all times, especially when I travel, I just take the small one. I have a towel so I can make sure things stay nice and clean. I can put products on top of that. Like I said, just to can a few extra foundations. These ones are some Giorgio Armani Luminous Silks. Um, I don't tend to use lashes an awful lot. I find I will use more individual lashes, um, but the client I was working this morning, I took some just in case. And another thing I wanted to show you guys, which might surprise you, is this tool, which is actually really good. This is by Dermaflash, and this has, it's kind of like a facial razor, um, which is really good for kind of like peach fuzz and things like that, if a client wants it. I also have that um, with a little set of clean blades. So obviously it's hygienic. That goes in there. Now set bag. This is a new discovery of mine and oh my goodness, I am obsessed with it. It is by, I think it's called the Makeup Light Company and it's called the Vivian set bag. So it's quite wide and it's quite long, but it just is like a fanny pack with a million pockets. Um, it has a clip so it can go around your waist, but it also comes with an extra one so you can wear it cross body. And just to give you a very quick like look inside so you can see how many millions of pockets there are in here it's literally I've got like my q-tips in there I've got things like mints I've got uh, paper straws <laughs> so I'm trying to think if there's anything left in actually from earlier because um, I was using this this morning and then I have what I'll do as well is I'll keep a certain amount of like small clean brushes in my set bag which just stay in my set bag so that I've always got some brushes in there things like a spoolie uh, eyelash curler, tweezers. I always have like a universal blot powder. Um, I like the Balm.com Lip Balm by Glossier because I find it quite matte. Um, I have, so that's kind of that pocket. And obviously within these sections, I will add things like maybe the client's blusher, the client's lipstick, uh, maybe their concealer, depending on what the shoot is. And then there's a little tiny pocket here, which you can't really see, but it's just good for an emergency thing. Um, and then there's this really big pocket at the back. And in this, I keep things like sunscreen. I've got baby wipes, face wipes. I've got, um, this is amazing actually on legs. I love this. This is the Kiehl's Creme de Corpse Nourishing Dry Body Oil. I have uh, a face spritz, but this also doubles up really well if I need to wet a brush. Sometimes I'll keep this if I'm not near water. And then I can just spritz a brush to kind of make an eyeliner stronger or a more definite line. I have a tampon because we all need that sometimes in life. 
And then I have forgot more toothpicks because I just, dental hygiene is important, y'all. So uh, a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Body. Like I said, Honest Baby Wipes I really like, some tissues. And that pretty much sums up my set bag. So anything that I can link to um, that's kind of kit based, I will do that for you. So that's kind of like predominantly my skin base, all that. Um, I feel like lips is, a, I can able to get that into a smaller bag most times. Um, this was from Nigel's, this is from Monda Studios. Um, and I have kind of lip pencils up here. And obviously I will change this up, like I said, depending on the client. Um, lots of these view set palettes I just find these are so good for making lip edits I tend to do them by brands so I have like a Chanel one Tom Ford Urban Decay and Charlotte Tilbury they're kind of my go-tos especially for red carpet um the YSL uh the I think they're the Rouge Volupte shines these are really nice for like a more sheeny look um, again, another one from Dior. And then what you'll notice I do a lot as well is I make my own palettes um, from different brands, etc. So like this was a Glossier, bar, uh, not Balm.com, Generation G. And, and that's just a really nice slim palette that I got years ago from Bobby Brown. Um, so because this was for the person I was working with today, I have a mix of pinks, nudes, corals, reds in the pencils. I will keep a couple of lip glosses. Um, I've got a couple of Chanel ones in there. Um, these are really good if you're a makeup artist and you don't have time to make your own lip palettes are the NARS ones. Um, again, I always label everything because I just want everything to be quicker. So that's one of the nude ones, which is great. Um, if I'm feeling like there might be a chance to do something a bit more editorial with a said client, then I'll always make sure anything kind of more editorial sits in this pocket. So perhaps like a, an extreme red or like a metallic finish. They're things that, or it might be like a go-to lipstick that I want to try, I put in there. Um, I've got lots of the Hourglass lip crayons, the Girl Stilos, I love these. Um, and also the Laura Mercier matte lips, I absolutely love. As well as the NARS ones, the matte velvet lip pencils, they are a real go-to. And I do also have a little lip scrub as well, just in case anyone's got any dryness on their lips. So this one is the eye bag. I feel like, again, this is the one that is exciting when I get it out because you see color, you see different textures. Um, this was another Monda Studio bag. In this section, I keep lots of different masks. So again, for the person I was working with today, I have some lip masks, some Wonder Beauty ones. I use these a lot. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Dry Mask, Dry Sheet is really good. This one's lovely if someone's come off a plane, the Lancome one, that's a really, really nice one. So I just keep some masks up in there. And then if we go into the actual main part of the bag. And the only thing that annoys me about this bag is it doesn't actually have the kind of straps that make it hold up by itself, which is kind of annoying. So in here, this is literally like my school pencil case. I always say to people, it reminds me of like when you're a kid and you have all your colorful pens. <laughs> so we've got like Urban Decay eyeliner pencils, Glossier Play eyeliners. Um, I tend to keep a couple of like what I describe as like my suit all colors of like eye crayons, um, eye coals, liquid liners. We've got like the Surratt ones in there, Kiko. Um, I'm not a drugstore snob. If I feel like something performs well, it goes in my kit. That's all I can say. Um, so then we kind of go into brows. I've got lots of these brow pens. I love the Ardell ones. Uh, brow Blade by Urban Decay. And then I'm getting the Glossier Lash Flicks. So I think you will have seen those on my Instagram by the time this video is up. Some brow gels, um, Dior colorful highlighter pens, and some more Hourglass brows. And then just some tools in here. These are like one of my most essential things actually when I'm doing makeup is extra tools. So things like tweezers, scissors. This little lash comb is, I think it's from Tweezer Man and it's so, so sharp, but it's amazing when you've got clumpy lashes. If ever I do kind of beauty work where perhaps it's like an eyelash campaign, this is like an essential pro tool. It's very sharp though. So eyelash curler just sits on the top. Let's ignore those two pieces because they were from today's job. I need to go back in the lip bag. Um, so when we come to actually going in the eye bag, there isn't necessarily a rhyme or reason with this. It's more just what fits where, but I can still see everything and that's what's important. So um, again, if I want to do a red carpet look, but I want to add something slightly more editorial, I have a couple of like glitter liners in here, shimmers, etc. Kind of finishing textures seem to be more on the top, I would say. So we've got like bodyographies. Um, these Inglot ones are a really nice affordable alternative to like the um, 
bodyography ones, um, Gillian Dempsey lid tints. I love these. I think these are so pretty. And just like, I mean, that one I've used for such a long time now. I think it's the shade Dew. Um, they come in colours as well. Um, if you were to buy one gloss as a makeup artist, I think the MAC Clear A5. Oh, no, AS gloss it's called. Is it A5? AS. Um, this is a really, really good, like, super intense, heavy, heavy gloss that's beautiful on eyes from my editorial finish. Um, then we have things in here, like, I've got a couple of things sort of, Again, textures or additional things I'll add to eye looks. So we've got some Natasha Denona. I'm loving this one at the minute. This is their, what is it called? This is called Chroma Crystal Top Coat. Then we have things like Rowan. This is the Disco Eye. This is a really fun way to just change up a look, especially if I'm with someone and we're doing a press junket and perhaps the look from the afternoon might be different to the morning. I can just put this on with my finger and just add a bit of sheen, a bit of kind of disco vibe to the eye. That's nice. Um, and by the same token, if ever I'm working with glitter or shimmer that I'm finding hard to remove, a little bit of washi tape is a really important way to get glitter off very softly. Um, some more eyebrow gels here. These are the hourglass ones and a few eyebrow powders. My soap brows. Um, I think it's important as well as a makeup artist to have different kinds of lash glue. So I have normal duo black glue, but then I also have one that is um, Ultra Bond Strip Lash Adhesive. And this is latex free because some people do have latex allergies. So it's always good to have like a latex free option as well. Um, then if we come to here, this is eyeshadows. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury ones all labeled. I love them. I just think they're great. They kind of, uh, your eyes, but better if you like. Then we've got the Huda ones. I think of really great quality, especially when it comes to intense color payoff. Um, I fitted in a little no eyeshadow eyeshadow by Pericone MD. Great for editorial. And then I also have, I don't know if you can see, but just further down into the box. So just in here, I have some more glosses just down in here. These are the um, Surratt ones, which I really love for editorials as well. And then in this little section here, this is generally mascaras. And then I keep like a little stack of three different um, uh, liner inks. So Bobbi Brown, Estee Lauder. NARS Eye Primer, I think these kind of brushes are great for eyebrows. And then I have more colorful liners because I do love a colorful eyeliner. Um, like I said, I'm having a very much a moment with glosses at the minute, which is why this bag is kind of set up this way. And these are the multi-purpose um, glosses from NARS. I absolutely love these. I think you will have seen me use this um, in one of my videos on top of like an olive eye. And they're just so pretty. You can use them everywhere, but they just catch the light so, so beautifully. So, and they have almost like a sort of glue applicator you have as a kid at school, which is fun. Um, and then under there, I have some NARS eyeshadows and then some Dior ones. And I will kind of change eyeshadows up depending on what mood I'm in, what I want to see. Um, we've got some of the Fenty eyeliners. Like I said, this kit is also ready for a beauty shoot I have tomorrow, which is why I kind of just made sure everything was ready. So I only had to pack the kit once. Um, and then some of my favorite uh, Tom Ford ones here. These were for the person I was working with today. I have the NARS uh, Skin Deep Palette, which I think is a really, really good one if you're starting out as a makeup artist. And then again, decanting, just trying to get as much in as I can in a small, a smaller space as possible. Um, so brow pomades, I put these into a little palette there. Then cream eyeshadows. Now, I remember when I first made this on Instagram and loads of you guys were asking me, Harry, did they last? Did any of them dry out? So all were fine. This does get a bit messy, I will say that, when I travel. But it's just such a good way to get like 21 cream shadows in one pot. The only ones that didn't work out very well were the uh, MAC ones. I don't know if you can see, they've kind of started to shrink a little bit. Everything else has been absolutely fine. So there's Chanel in here, there's Tom Ford, um, there's Charlotte Tilbury, and all of those have been absolutely fine. And while it might look a bit messy, I just make sure I clean it before I get to the shoot and then it's fine. Um, where editorials are concerned, I think you have to have some kind of like cream-based paints in your kit. These are actually the 12, I think they're called the uh, Makeup Forever, the 12 flash colors. And I have two of them. And like you can see this one has like the golds and the silvers, like really beautiful molten metal colors. And these are so heavily, richly pigmented. Um, so you can mix these into foundation. You can mix them into eyeshadow. They're a really versatile tool to have. Um, in this kind of kit. 
So that's inside my pro kit guys. Um, if you sat through all of that, well done. I will be putting more kind of like detailed looks into specific kit bags over on my IGTVs, Instagram at Harry Makes Up. So go follow me there. I hope that was helpful. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. I would love it if you guys subscribe and I'll see you soon for videos. Thanks so much guys, bye.